An NRA instructor described as the left's worst nightmare is on a mission to train thousands of women on how to protect themselves with guns, hoping to ensure that they are never the victim. This, as a new study shows, women are nearly half of the new gun buyers. NRA instructor Rick Ector joins us now along with Sam Giannis and Barbara Ray. They are the sisters who attended one of Rick's training classes. Good morning to all three of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, Rick, I'll start with you. Why did you start these training classes? Did you see a real need for it? Actually, 10 years ago, I saw a very disturbing story on my local news uh, channel. It had a woman whose body was found in an alley, and uh, she was killed and murdered. And I thought someone should do something. So I gathered along with five other fellow firearms trainers, and we decided to go to social media and solicit as many women as we could train for free. We started out with 50, and lo and behold, 10 years later, you know, I'm training women, you know, by the, by the thousands. That's amazing. Barbara and Sam, which one of you, who had the, the idea first? Me. Okay, well, um, tell me why. I, my, my sister had never been shooting, and she's young. She just graduated, and she likes to do things on her own. And I just feel like we're in a time and day where you don't want anybody you love going out by themselves, especially a woman. And so, Barbara, you said, okay, I'll do it. Were you nervous? No, I was really excited. My family's really pro-gun and protecting ourselves, and my brother's always on my case to get going here. Okay, and y'all live in Michigan, is that right? Yes, yes. ma'am. Is it? E do you plan on carrying? Are you allowed to carry in that state? Is it easy to get a license? We are allowed to carry, and it is pretty easy. We can just come to Top Gun and take a lesson. Okay. For yeah, in the state of Michigan, all you would need is to take a qualifying class, uh -huh. eight hours, uh, which includes shooting time, and apply for the license to carry concealed. Most people who have a, a good background uh, within the last uh, period, which is either three years or eight years, most people qualify. So, Rick, what are some of the stories you're hearing? I mean, a lot of single moms, they're worried they wouldn't be able to defend their kids if someone broke in, that kind of thing? Well, it, it spans the whole gamut. There are a lot of people who are looking at the local news and they're seeing a lot of things that they want to protect themselves against. Some people are just curious about guns and want to know more. And then there are other people who have actually gone through the process and bought a gun and then they realize part of being a responsible owner is to practice. Mm -hmm. So we have this perfect mixture of women from different backgrounds, young, old, all races, all different categories, all religions who are more interested in taking on an active role in their personal protection. Rick, what do you say to the women who might come to you and say, I'd really love to do it, but it scares me to have a gun in my house? Well, with anything, uh, with proper education and training, uh, any risk can be mitigated. We have dangerous things in our homes, such as knives and uh, lawnmowers and all those types of things. But with proper training, mm -hmm. you'll learn how to properly care for it, and you won't have any negative outcomes. Okay, Sam, what's the experience been like? I loved going to the range. I've actually shot before, but going to Rick's event, I was able to learn more about proper handling, different rules and regulations that I wasn't necessarily aware of. Mm -hmm. Because we are open carry, I didn't know about so much of the CPL um, options, but now I do know more and I will be moving forward with taking a class and getting registered for a okay. CPL. So Rick, last question. For those folks that are watching that don't live in Michigan, they can't take your class, what kinds of things do we need to ask? What questions do we need to ask when we're finding a place where we can go train? Well, first and foremost, you want to make sure that the state that you're in even allows the average citizen to get a concealed pistol license, and then you want to make sure that you find out what those requirements are, if it's allowed, and then make sure you do your due diligence and get a good instructor who is going to give you a sound footing in firearm safety and actually teach you what the relevant laws are in your jurisdiction. Okay, well, thank you. thanks all three of you for coming on with us. I wish you all the best. Sam, Barbara, glad you're able to protect yourself now. And Rick, thank you for your saving lives, actually. We appreciate it. Hey, thank you for having us. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.